What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back in another video. So if you guys have been waiting for the Recaro seats installed for a long time, this is it. I know it's taken quite a while, quite a few months. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you guys are new to the channel, I picked up these set of Recaro SR4 seats uh, quite a while back, a couple months back, at least three, four months ago. But the reason I haven't thrown them in because I've been waiting on some seat brackets, some seat rails. So these just came in. Um, they came one at a time from Japan, took forever, that's why. Uh, and you guys are wondering why do I have Recaro seats but bride seat rails? That's because Recaro do make seat rails, but a lot of their seat rails are for the side bolstering. The SR4 seats are bottom mount, the rails go on underneath. So I figured, you know what, I know it's a mixed match of brands, but these are bottom rails, they fit on the S2000, so that should do the trick. Um, first things first, we will be taking out the OEM S2000 seats. Nothing wrong with them, leather, everything looks good, but I don't know, how can you say no to some aftermarket seats? So if you guys are wondering, am I selling these OEM seats? The answer is not right now. I'm still intending to keep them. I had quite a few people ask me. So yeah, first things first, remove OEM seats. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's go ahead and get the start, scene and store started. Let's start with the driver's side first. So first things first, little seat belt thing right here. Just gonna remove that, get it out the way. Um, I've done a couple seat install over the years. I've never done an S2000, but I don't see how different it could be from other cars. Bolts, well, I'm guessing one, two, three, four, just like any other seats. And yeah, should be able to do it. Should come right off. So over in the front, like I said, one and two over there, they are gonna be a 12 millimeter. Come right off. And you pretty much scoot the seat forward and like I said, build two more. Same thing, use your gun, shoot it out, 12 mils. So one thing I realized is the back are two 14 mils, the fronts are slightly smaller, two 12 mils. So two 12 mils front, two 14 mils on the back. So before you remove the seat, underneath there's something you have to unplug. So make sure to do that. I think it might be like a airbag sensor or something. Uh, make sure to unplug it first and then you can remove your seat. So just two clips, one right here, remove it. The other one is right up here. Just unplug it. Should be all good to go. And whenever I have the seat out, I always like to take my time to kind of vacuum underneath the seat just because you don't remove your seats that often. So might as well vacuum it down real quick. All right, so I have both seats side by side. First things first, you wanna remove the seat belt buckle. Uh, and then we have to attach the seat rail onto the seat as well. One thing that I noticed is on the forums, people are seeing this thing right here is a little too big to adjust the bolstering. So there's this company that makes a slimmer one, a slimmer knob. So that's something I might have to replace as well. So I'm gonna open up this box. Nice little Art of Attack sticker. Who don't love stickers, right? Another Art of Attack sticker. Like I said, this was straight from Japan, from Bright Japan. This is the driver's side seat rail. So one thing that's pretty neat, these things are really low. And um, besides just being a seat bracket, it also has a slider. Some brands, you have your seat bracket and slider separate. This one is a two-in-one, so super awesome. So first things first, before I throw on the seat, I always like to make sure the seat rail, all the holes line up. So even though, yes, this is meant for an S2000, the AP2, I just want to make sure the holes are nice and good. So everything looks good. So right now, like I said, just going to bolt this on to the Recaro seat. 
All right, so pretty much what you have to do is get your bolts lined up. You have to slide this slider back and forth a few times and see which hole matches up. So I already pretty much put it down using an Allen wrench. And now we're gonna slide this slider up so that we can go ahead and do the same for the bottom two holes. All right, so after a lot of back and forth, back and forth, I finally managed to get this bolted on. As you can see, one, two, three underneath. So when you do the top, you have to slide it all the way down and then vice versa. When you do the bottom, you have to slide this all the way up. So there's three bolts on each side. Uh, if you notice right here where the Recaro seat, this knob is, uh, I was reading on forums that this part keeps hitting the side on the S2000. So you need to go and get a slimmer knob, barely clears. If you notice right here, it's also barely rubbing against this seatbelt bracket. So let's go ahead and take off this whole assembly right here. And if you guys are wondering why am I removing this knob, is because this knob is too thick. There's two, there's one on each side. The inner one is fine, but the outer knob rubs against where the door is. So this slim knob is much slimmer, almost half the size. If you guys are wondering where you can get it from, you can get it from this company called Country Motorsports. Let me get it to focus. Contrail Motorsport, C-A-N-T-R-E-L-L -L. All right, so pretty much got off the knob. So this thing right here, first you wanna pop off this cover. You can use a flat tip screwdriver. And then once you pop this cap off, you can just take this whole knob off. And like I said, this is much thicker than the uh, Contrail Slim knob. You also wanna go ahead and take off the belt buckle, which is, uh, I believe, 14 millimeter. Just like that, take it out. So that seatbelt buckle is also connected all the way over here. So this is what keeps that uh, seatbelt light off on the car. So you wanna make sure to go ahead and remove it, pry it all off. Alright, so I finally transfer over the seat buckle as well as a slim knob right here. So right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and throw in the Recaro seats into the car. So now that you have the seat back in the car, make sure you go ahead and clip back this wire, which is the seat belt light wire. And everything's in reverse, pretty much the two 14 mils on the back and the two 12 mils in the front. All right, two 14 mil bolts on the back are tight. Right now what you're gonna do is go ahead and slide the seat backwards and do the two front bolts. All right, so finally have one side in. We have the driver's side. Everything's all bolted down. Like I said, two 12 mils in the front, two 14 mils on the back. Uh, never tighten it too much. You always want to tighten it a little bit and then you can, so you, that we can kind of move it up and down. Um, so we still have the stock seat on the passenger side, but I'll leave that for another day, probably tomorrow. But what do you guys think? Are you guys digging? the Recaro seats or do you prefer the OEM seats? All right, so day number two, we are about to throw in the passenger Recaro seat. So just last night, I put in the driver's side Recaro. We see the passenger stock seats here. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and attach the seat bracket to my new Recaro seats. I got it from Art of Attack, my bright type RO seat rails, the sliders all in one. Waited a couple months before I finally got here. Wait time for Japan, it took super long. Yeah, it looks good. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get started by taking off the passenger side seat. So it should be the same as the driver's side. I'm gonna screw this all the way back. So passenger side, you have this little hum right here. Um, there's a plastic piece covering one of the bolts right here. And the other bolt is exposed right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and remove the passenger side seat. And once you remove the cap and the two screws, two four, sorry, two 12 mils up front, there's two more back here, one and two. They should be the same, two 14 mils. Out, other side. Out, perfect. On the passenger side, you have your seatbelt buckle. And this is a 14 mil, so just go ahead and remove it. And before you take off the seat, same thing, you have a bunch of like wiring underneath, so make sure to unplug everything. Alright, so passenger seat is out, as you can see messy underneath so let's go ahead and vacuum down real quick as well so seat brackets on like i said on the passenger side it's a little bit weird because you have this hum right here so seat bracket is designed to kind of go over the hum so right now same thing I gotta take off this knob because this side is too big. So yeah, we're gonna do that so that it will sit nicely right over here. All right, so all that's left is to throw the Recaro seat in and we'll be all set. All right, the passenger side Recaro is all in. Don't forget to go ahead and transfer that seat belt. I forgot the first time I had to take it out and redo it. But yeah, do that as well as this. So all in all, I'm pretty happy. Let me walk around to the driver's side. Here's how they look, both sides, driver and passenger. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it or not like it? Like I said, I'm super stoked to finally have the Recaros in. I've been having these seats for about three to four months mainly waiting on my bright seat brackets and they finally came in so yeah super excited i haven't driven with them yet but i do know that going in and out of the car uh, the bolstering on the sides are definitely higher they're much thicker the driver's side is not too bad but the passenger side i do have to say that there was a little bit of finessing to get it to work just because on the 2006 and up models um you have this this little hump right here 06 and up you guys might know what I mean um, so yeah it doesn't clear it some seat brackets don't clear it uh, it also rubs a little bit more on the bolstering on this side on the passenger side and right here it's really tight so if I have this part the shoulder pad sticking out too much whenever I close the door you will hit it so what I did was I pretty much reclined all the way back just so it clears but yeah, just small little quirks on the passenger side. Um, like I said, pretty much got it to fit. Um, it is what it is. I did my best. And again, if you guys like it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. I'm super stoked to be rocking this Recaro's. The black and the red will match really nice with the outside of the car that's red in color. And I think more or less on the interior of the car, more or less this is about it. The Recaro seats are finally in. The Mugen shift knob with the vertex steering wheel with the works bell hub. Now, I might get a Mugen steering wheel down the road, 
but I feel like every other Honda owner has a Mugen one. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. If anything else, I might do a roll cage in the future with some harnesses. I'm not sure yet, but so far I'm pretty happy with how the interior is turning out. Oh, if anything, I also might do an aftermarket single din stereo to update the interior. I might do that. Maybe upgrade speakers. And then I'm ready to work on the outside of the car, which is stuff like the front bumper. We have the Voltex bumper. Uh, I do want a hood, a carbon hood. I do have my wing, my Voltex wing in there. So small little bits that will eventually make its way in the car. So I hope you guys are liking the progress on the S2000. And again, if you guys stick to the end, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.